holy smokes, it ain't no jokers, guys. We gotta have that GTA 5 heist music playing in the background to talk about this story. I mean, what a week this has been. Can I say this has been wilder than Johnny Sins movies? I guess I can, right? We got the Mr. Beast story that we gotta talk about. Dr. Disrespect trying to hype up his comeback, man. Like, that is crazy. Mr. T likes a fight, beating all the accusations. This guy was on round 99, metaphorically speaking. Round 99 in Call of Duty Zombies, right? No perks, no juggernaut, no perkaholic, no gobblegums, and my guy still clutched it! He still clutched it! We covered that in the last video, and while doing so, for those of you that do not know, this guy was accused of PDF files and uh, by his ex and bunch of terms. It was crazy. There was, it felt like that there was no coming back for this gentleman out here, but he beat that, and while doing so, while clearing his name, he just you know, uh, blasted everybody else, like, uh, he exposed Noah J456, uh, he exposed JC Backfire, the Smith Place, we covered that in the last video, and Dr. Disrespect uh, is hyping up his comeback, and now we got the Mr. Beast situation, guys, and what else can I say, we got another one, like the video, if you think Mr. Beast gotta respond to the allegations that are going around, dislike the video, if not, because the allegations are getting really, really severe, now, it's really getting into the territory of, hey, PDF files, and stuff like that because Mr. Beast actually had one employee who apparently did some crap with a minor that was aged between 1 and 11. Oh, shit. Oh. That's the official news that we have. We have the crime reported. We, have the, we got the police report on this one and all of this has been leaked by Dog Pack. And Dog Pack, you guys are not understanding this man. Like Dog Pack is the same guy that was the guy that initially uh, made the video, blasted Mr. Beast and said that Mr. Beast is faking giveaways, uh, fraud, scamming his audience, all that stuff, right? And, and he wasn't even talking necessarily about Chris Tyson. Chris Tyson's situation was different. Now it's different. He dropped Avengers Endgame Part 2 and now he's hyping up Part 3 as well. <laughs> Yeah, so Avengers Endgame Part 3 is about to hit and I got a video that I want to share with you guys as well. And Ludwig, this is another clip that I will play for you in a second. Ludwig urges Mr. Beast to respond to the allegations or he will be forced to stop supporting him. Damn, homie, like this is, this situation is wilder than Johnny Sin's movies, man. Roll this The one. new Mr. Beast allegations are absolutely disgusting. So the ex-employee who exposed Mr. Beast, Dog Pack, has finally released his part two video titled, I yeah. work for Mr. Beast, he's a sociopath. And this Holy. video goes over some very serious allegations by a former contestant named Jake Weddle. Now, legal disclaimer, I cannot confirm any of this. This entire video is covering their allegations and I'm simply reporting the news. So some of this- Yeah, same here, brothers. I'm just reporting the news because this Mr. Beast guy, he's crazy bro he's crazy he tried to sue everybody and yeah that's another allegation not even allegation but we gotta say allegedly allegedly it's not even allegedly but we gotta say allegedly because he did send or his team uh, i guess did he did send a cease and desist to dog pack right to this gentleman out here this gentleman worked with mr beast and he dropped the avengers endgame avengers endgame part two just came out you know what i'm saying and now he but i dropped oh, metaphorically speaking and now he says that he got part three in the in the works as well this is crazy bro this is crazy the things being alleged are jake weddle was borderline tortured in a mr beast challenge called 100 days in solitary confinement apparently he was not even allowed to see sunlight and had bright studio lights on him and cameras 24 seven so that he couldn't sleep which may potentially fall under sleep deprivation which is a Damn. form of serious torture apparently there was an incredible <laughs> amount of pressure to stay a, a lot of you guys watching this video will be like bro i stay up all night bro i'm sleep deprived as well yeah i mean but you're doing that to yourself right i also do that to myself this gentleman was not looking to you know be sleep deprived but jimmy was like nah bro you gotta stay in there for a hundred days straight and and i guess and i get it right like of course the other guy jake guy right he also uh wanted to do that challenge with mr beast so you cannot fully blame mr beast on this one it's like both parties agreed and you did it but but that's like nothing this part is nothing just wait for it wait for it a and complete the challenge as well even when he was falling apart so to speak another allegation is that mr beast had a convicted sa offender with a child victim on the mr beast team Damn. and on camera in one of the videos as well Damn. which is absolutely insane for a channel 
channel whose viewer base is full of kids. Dogpack is also working on a part three video that goes into further horrible accusations regarding potentially covering up SA situations. Uh, also, I know Mr. Beast's secret CEO has been practically like harassing my people on, you know, hey, what's in part two? What, what does he know? So I will just tell you, James, what will be in part three so you don't have to harass my people. It will be about serious allegations of, of sexual misconduct uh, in the company and your direct involvement in covering up those crimes. During the 100 boys versus girls video, uh, I have people cooperating the same story that the, the camera guy who gave the girls a drone was making some girls feel uncomfortable. You trap these girls in a circle and, and make them sleep on rough turf and, and get them high on paint fumes and, and then you try to f them. All right, so that's obviously going to be- Oh, bro, this is crazy. So another accusation, uh, or oh, allegation, accusation, whatever you want to say it, right? Like even the, the Mr. Beast camera guy wanted to F the girls that were the contestants. Like, this is crazy, bro. <laughs> Somebody once said, you live long enough uh, to see yourself become the villain. Is that the quote, right? Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me in the comments. A nightmare for the Beast PR team, but let's just go over the situation, see what's going on. Starting with Jake Weddle's experience filming the solitary confinement video. I'm Jake Weddle. If you know me from Mr. Beast, I'm, I'm a deep cut. I'm in a few of the videos, sometimes maybe purposefully kept in the shadows a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm in the cutting room floor a lot of the time. Pitches uh, okay. 100 days in solitary confinement, uh, but don't worry, Damn. like you only have to last like 30, we have like a video. They're pitching like a, oh, at first it's gonna be like a luxury vacation. You're gonna have like a hot tub and an ice cream machine. And like part of the video is gonna be you deciding like what, what, what items am I gonna get rid of, you know, today? And it's like the choice. They were like, uh, it's only gonna be bad for me to last like five days tops when you have like nothing left. You're the first, it's yeah. gonna be like a breeze for most of it. And uh, by the end of it, after 30 days, you're gonna get $300,000 cuz it's $10,000 a day. Okay, so apparently it was pitched as a sort of vacation, uh, a really Okay, I, I know. Okay, like listen, a, a lot of people in the comments would be like, "Yo, if Jimmy was giving me 1 million dollars, I would stay 100 days in his butthole or something like that." <laughs> Guys, come on, man. It, it don't work like that, damn it. Let a brother have a PS5 at least, bruh. Let brother like get some good food or get yeah, get a chef in there too, bruh. Like get a chef in there, okay? Maybe like cut the, the roof from the top so the sunlight can hit him directly as well. Like damn man, we only live once, right? Like you gotta gotta make the homie feel comfortable out here, bro. Like damn, so no sun, you put ice cream machine. Yeah, so that's sugar apparently. He, he wanted to be, uh, he wanted him to get diabetes earlier, early on his in his career, in his life. Damn, Jimmy, like that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, man. Don't eat too much sugar, guys. It's bad for health. Like the video for me to take care of your health or at least pretend to take care of your health, right, guys? Come on, man. Really easy challenge where you can earn 300K, where you'll have a hot tub and an ice cream machine. But then he goes on to explain the alleged absolutely horrid conditions on the set, saying that it smelled really bad and he didn't even get to sleep and was suffering yeah. from insomnia even after the challenge. And uh, I mean, they, they just freshly painted the set. You could smell it, you know, which that's probably not good. You know, the smell of fresh paint in your <laughs> surroundings for the next XYZ time. A hot tub that's not connected to a filtration system. Give it three days, it's gonna stink. And the ice cream machine, let's talk about that for a second. The ice cream machine has two modes. On, <laughs> and off, reeking of smelly, berry, mildew. Like, so I got to choose which sense was assaulted at a time. Like, I couldn't have all of them good. They weren't, they weren't turning the lights off. You know, I asked them, I said, can we like have like nighttime hours? You know, and they said no because it would fuck up the time-lapse shots. The time-lapse of what, me sleeping? Me not sleeping? Okay, I got no access. Dog, turn the lights off, let a brother sleep. What were you guys thinking? Okay, I get the, 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 that it's a little like funny when he says, oh yeah, man, ice cream machine, uh, you know, bathtub, whatever, right? 100 days, uh, you're getting $10,000 a day USD. That's paper, that's a, that's a, that's not pesos, guys. That's not rupees, man. That's a, that's a US dollars, brothers. Like that's Franklin Benjamins, okay? It's serious, it's serious out here, okay? I'm in Canada and uh, let me tell you 10,000 USD that's like easy 13 to almost 14,000 uh, Canadian dollars okay like we ain't talking about no rupees here bruh we ain't talking about no pesos here bruh this is USD this is Franklin Benjamin it's just like it's crazy man Franklin Benjamin on the hundred dollars he's going in gang gang you feel what I'm saying but but the, but the situation here is that let our brother sleep though like well, how hard it is to just you know take take uh, like just go and flick the switch i like how hard it is just to like turn out the lights you feel what i'm saying Bruh. like how hard is it to just turn the lights off like damn bro like come on man this was straight up torture man like jimmy like well i don't know what you're thinking i don't know what what was going on there bro but like y'all suckers need to turn off the lights bro let a brother sleep in peace bro this is the sun i got no access to clock 
I don't know, like, the, the, the lights are on me all the time. I wasn't sleeping. I, I could not sleep. And I, I have insomnia problems now. Um, but I, I, I might have started there. And I go up to my friend, my, my, my good friend. And I go, I go, I go, they're not turning the lights off. He goes, what? That's a... <laughs> Yo, okay, listen, is bro is this brother actually just, uh, uh, of course, the, the complaints are genuine, and I, I know about, like, the full story roughly, I have not watched the full video, but I know a little bit, the bits and pieces, what's about to come is even worse, right, and I wish I could say psych right now, but so far, he's, of course, kind of, like, joking around, and, uh, and it, it, it doesn't feel that serious, uh, but from what I'm hearing, the last five minutes of the you know, Avengers Endgame Part 2 video, metaphorically speaking, the Doc Pack Part 2 video, the last five minutes, they got real serious, and that's uh, the, that's where the majority of the, uh, the, the hate, or whatever you want to call it, the accusations, the allegations are coming out. And we also got Ludwig, actually, let me just play you this real quick. So this is what Ludwig said. Uh, Mr. Beast has yet to respond on it, man. He's trying to just uh, stay in his and cave if you're wondering right now, how I feel about it, I'll tell you right now. I think Jimmy needs to make a reply. Like, he technically doesn't need to. He uploaded a YouTube video and it got 120 million views. And he could probably continue to upload videos without ever replying and continue to get hundreds of millions of views. But I won't be able to support him. I won't support him in any way, shape, or form if that's what he does. Because I think he needs to reply. Specifically to why he hired a sex offender. Yeah. Like, yeah, how, yeah. how did that happen? That's Dang. a crazy thing to do with a guy Dang. who runs a channel that is uh, primarily targeted towards children. Exactly. You know? uh, apologize to Jake Weddle. Like, how, how did that situation end up as it was? Where producers aren't fired like what course of action was taken like how is how is right done so no one else is treated like jake again you know uh everyone who bought a forged mr beast hoodie gotta get their money back uh for context uh, apparently mr beast uh, was caught on a live stream not necessarily mr beast 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 had like jimmy donaldson himself but apparently uh so, so on a live stream on a giveaway live stream ultimately they were going against uh, the legal law all right first of all and, and they deleted the live stream i mean they got caught they deleted the live stream go figure they knew they were in the wrong so they deleted the live stream so that tells you what's going on right so they deleted the live stream but during the stream mr beast team was signing the shirts right that people would get you, you know like you ever get like merch from your favorite let's just say rapper or whatever right and you think they signed it let me tell you this man nine out of ten times it's probably not them oh, shit. Oh, shit. yeah it's probably their team but at least they keep it hush hush right but these suckers mr beast and his team they were caught red-handed on a live stream and, and apparently mr beast team was uh, one of the the team member from mr beast was caught on camera during a live stream signing a shirt with mr b signatures like talk about a massive f up and of course uh, they know this is against this was illegal and they took down the the stream and all that and there were like other implication uh, implications is that the word but there there were other uh, accusations alongside it too they got scammed they got scammed i love a good scam but that's probably a little too much uh everyone who participated in an illegal lottery uh, needs to have right done by them right you need to just make up for everyone who participated in those because that is against the law and then also show how you change your business practices so that doesn't happen again and finally i also need to know about like beast games like what is going on there obviously a lot of that's shrouded in secrecy and it's like you know little whispers so what's actually going on and that still doesn't account for him having to reply for things that haven't yet come out yeah right dog pack says like third parts coming in uh, uh, oh my it's God, about how bro. he covered up uh like sexual assault at the workplace which is by far the most severe claim that has yet to come out that will yeah and he's claiming that the camera guy was also mr beast team member camera guy was wanting to f the, the the female contestants during like a show or something like that that's crazy bro uh on, on this part specifically of course it does make mr uh jimmy donaldson and mr beast look bad but I, I i gotta be fair here man you cannot blame a man for a, another man's actions you know what I mean, right? Like, damn, bro. Like, at that point, it's like all of us gonna be like holding everybody. Like, hey, you, you know, your friend did that, so you you are the one to blame. Like, hey, blame the guy, blame the friend, my brother. Like, he did it, not me. You know, like, so I, I don't like the idea of hey accusing another man for another man's actions. So that, but but apparently a lot of stuff is coming out left and right that uh it, 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 it's just getting crazy right now, and he hasn't responded yet. But wait for it. War crime. We're not allowed to do that to terrorists. Oh, that's a war crime. <laughs> We're not allowed to do that to terrorists. Oh, oh good. <laughs> 24 hours breaking the Geneva Convention, I guess, is what we're doing. He said, uh, Jimmy said, uh, can you say to the camera how thankful you are 
that now you can pay back your student loans. That is absolutely awful to hear. So he's claiming that they allegedly almost tortured him and then asked him to basically thank the cameras for it. Now, I don't know if it actually qualifies as like a war crime because that seems a bit much, but regardless, it is a horrible thing to do to someone, especially from supposedly the kind-hearted god angel that is supposed yeah. to be Mr. Beast, right? Yeah, like turn off the lights, let a brother sleep. Yeah, you, they, they, these like, suckers don't even do that. I mean, they do it, but but you know, they keep it hush-hush. Like it's illegal though, I, I guess I'm learning Oh, I'm learning about it right now. But like, damn, turn off the lights. Let a brother sleep, man. And if this is true, it could be a serious problem for Mr. Beast and the whole team because there's been a ton of allegations of people accusing Mr. Beast of using money to get people to do things that they wouldn't normally do in a sane mind. I mean, presenting it as a vacation and then turning it around into borderline torture is just not a good look. At the very least, if they ever do something similar in the future, it needs to be monitored by some safety authority or something because the reckless disregard for the health and safety of contestants in these challenges is just ridiculous at this point, even from Damn. the recent Beast Games allegations with people claiming to be injured, denied medication, and much more. I mean, you just can't subject people to this type of stuff and say that it's perfectly okay because they signed up for it. Well, I mean, it seems like they didn't know what they signed up for, and when you dangle life-changing money in front of them, it's going yeah. to affect their judgment. Uh, but, and to be fair, though, I've, I've read this comment on my video as well. Like, multiple of you guys uh, actually left this comment, so I see where you're, where you're coming from, and I understand the argument. A lot of people are also saying that, well, these people like if i was in their these people's shoes and if i was given the opportunity to get let's just say get a hundred thousand dollars a million dollars i would suffer through all of this this is like nothing for me i i heard that point i heard that point but here's the thing though uh like uh, we're talking about hundreds of other contestants though you know what i'm saying Bruh. like and he's not telling you all the, the the stuff that you're gonna be going through i guess still like yeah i guess some people would be still defending him on that one understandable but then there are of course like other accusations the the biggest one right now so far being i'm not even talking about the chris tyson situation that happened that happened we talked about it right then there's this aspect to it there's of course like him deleting videos deleting comments frauds uh, uh scamming viewers giveaways all that let's just uh, put that aside okay let's put this aside as well because some people would be like okay you know what i'll be up for the challenge you you talk about you're talking about uh, me having an opportunity to win a million dollars okay I'll, I'll put myself through shies and whatever right like yeah just punch me a million times but give me a million dollars at the end i'll take it some people would go as far as to say that okay fair fair but now it's like you know, come on now. He had like a like a guy, a, a SA, that apparently did crap to a minor, bet ages between one to eleven. So yeah, between those ages, right? So it's not even a sixteen-year-old. It's between one and eleven. Could be eight-year-old. Could be ten. Could be eleven. Could be seven. Could be younger than that. We don't know officially. Uh, I guess they're not gonna disclose uh, more information. And understandable. Now here's some text messages he shared as well. Hope you're doing well, man. That video you uploaded is money. So good. I appreciate. I'm doing better physically. Mentally, I'm still kind of in a place. I still can't sleep. I've slept five hours in the past three days, marathon included. I don't know what's wrong with me. Lots of thinking, too much one might say. Hope they're taking care of you where they can. I mean, I was kind of shocked they didn't pay me for the full 25, 30 days. They paid me what I made up to that point. Like even when we have to pull the plug for my mental health, the mechanism of the game is still at play. I'm just happy to be out. I still can't walk well, but it hurts less. Off camera breaks, Holy. lights off at night, visitation, take the marathon out. Marathon is a video in itself. You can't expect someone to exert themselves like that for 45 seconds of content. The challenges really made it feel dehumanizing. Felt like a parody of Mr. Beast. I felt like the homeless guy they could exploit. Okay, so Mr. Beast oh. defenders are obviously gonna be like, suck it up, you signed up for it. Oh, you wanna win? 300k <laughs> without it even being hard. Well, you know, that's one way to look at it. But also, is it really necessary to not turn the lights off at night? I mean, that yeah. part is cut out of- Like, turn off the lights, brother. Like, damn, man. Okay, I get it. Like, I get it. I, I hear both sides, but like, damn. Like, turn off the lights, man. Let a brother sleep, bro. Let a brother sleep, man. The video, so why would that be needed? I mean, why make what? a guy who hasn't run a marathon run a marathon till he allegedly has, like, blisters and stuff like that and his feet are hurting so bad? It's just kind of hurting him for entertainment. He goes, you're gonna, you're gonna run a marathon. You're gonna do the two- 22.6k, whatever it is. You're gonna do it on that treadmill over there. People who run marathons train forever, and it's still hard. Did you try to say no? Like, did you have a choice, or? There was so much pressure to just do it, just do the thing, you know? You, then you get up, and I, if, if I refuse, it's just, 
But that's the whole video. I guess the budget's, you know, so much money up in flames. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Beast would be like, we're losing money, bro. You gotta do it. I'm losing a million dollars. But to be fair, though, like, I get it. Like, Mr. Beast was like, hey, man, we're losing money, man. <laughs> we're losing a million dollars, bro. You gotta do it, bro. You gotta do it. Get your ass in that room right now. Get your ass right there, man. And lock that door up. Don't let the second come out. Out of it. I'm losing money here. It's serious. That's uh, That was Mr. Beast, man. Of course, I'm exaggerating. I gotta say, allegedly. Hey, man, listen, jokes, parody, uh, allegedly, because you never know, man, Mr. Beast out here, like, start suing everybody, man, that's, that's crazy, and that, 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 yeah, and he still has not responded, I don't know if he's gonna respond, though, you guys think he's gonna respond, but, or not? Alright, I got off the shed, though. Ah, oh, the blisters I had on my feet were like, you wouldn't believe, just all over, just these big red, I couldn't, I couldn't walk, my, my, my muscles were like, just... The lactic acid, I, I, I got off the treadmill and then the people that came in to like ice my feet and you know, make sure I was good. And that's when I was like, I'm done, I can't, I'm done, I'm done, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I don't know, in my opinion, there's just better ways to do it. I don't even mind if you just tell everybody, hey guys, I'm being open and honest, I'm faking the videos, I'm making it a TV show, I'm gonna be turning off the lights at night and giving him a break, right? He doesn't even have to say it's fake, just do what WWE does, right? Just say entertainment, just say it's entertainment and, and it would be fine. And of course, when you say entertainment, it, that, that means what you think it means it's entertainment and for entertainment stuff sometimes is real stuff sometimes is fake but when you say all your videos is real now we know they are not real because uh you know the cat is out of the bag that gentleman has dropped avengers endgame avengers endgame part two on your ass he's uh, he's saying that he's gonna drop avengers endgame three and that that's gonna be the kryptonite and apparently it, it, it's gonna be as though uh, uh it, it was uh, made by christopher nolan like the batman trilogy you you feel what i'm saying Bruh. so uh what we're uh, metaphorically speaking so what we're learning is that part three that, that it's gonna be hard hitting but instead, he has this weird obsession with insisting that everything is 100% real and authentic, and that ends up hurting people, it seems like. Now, in the future, if you do actually fake it, then, you know, let people know so they don't call you a liar as well, right? And so that contestants are not misled about the challenges. Now, Dogpack also shares an internal document in Mr. Beast where he basically shows the company spirit. And one of the sort of instructions there is that no does not mean no, which is an insane phrase to use, but it's not actually talking about consent. Oh, it's more like, if I tell you to do something, keep trying to do it, even if people say no. <laughs> yeah. No, we could have left at any time. I want to show this segment from uh, an internal document of Mr. Beast called How to Succeed in Mr. Beast Production. Specifically on page 19, there's a paragraph called No does not mean no. Already insane, uh, because it's sort of, it seems to be co-opting the popular anti slogan, which is a terrible look given the- I, I, I wonder like what Mr. Beast did to this gentleman out here. This uh, dog pack, this is the dog pack guy, right? The, he worked for Mr. Beast, got fired, I believe. Yeah, got fired, that's what we learned, right? I wonder what they did. What did they do to you, bro? You be exposing him like crazy, man. The first video, last time I checked, 11 million views, and he dropped part two within a day, 8.4 million views. It is insane, man. It is absolutely insane. This stuff is raging wildfires globally right now. I guess the fire was there before, but nobody knew the forest was burning, uh, metaphorically speaking. Nobody knew that Jimmy was faking stuff, right? And, and this gentleman came out pour gasoline on it and now the entire world knows that there's a forest fire going on right now there's a forest fire going on guys allegations that are going to be coming out very soon uh, it reads when dealing with people outside mr beast productions never take a no at face value if you need a store to buy everything inside of and you call the local dollar tree and the person that answers says no you can't film here that doesn't mean shit talk to other employees and see if there are fans or if any have kids that are fans try talking to their boss their boss's boss have me dm them on twitter try their social team if after all avenues are exhausted you're still left with a no that doesn't mean don't try the other dollar trees because the manager of those could be fans are willing to bend the rules basically what i'm trying to convey is what we call pushing through no don't just stop because one person told you no stop when all conceivable options are exhausted this is one of the tools that when combined dramatically improve your probability of success one when producing here all right so it's basically saying keep uh, to be honest though like <laughs> you know, for challenge videos this sounds insane but of course like if you take this whatever he said as like a you know improving your life or achieving your dreams and all that it does sound good right like hey don't quit don't quit keep grinding keep grinding keep grinding i mean it works it sounds well it sounds good for real life goals but for a challenge video like damn homie i mean mr beast really wanted to i guess uh, make the videos like 
You know what I'm saying? And I guess uh, this is where we are. Trying to make the thing happen and don't take no for an answer, which is okay, except the phrase is a very weird choice and probably made a lot of women uncomfortable, but all right. Now, Doc yeah, Pack also claims yeah, that yeah. this sort of mentality might lead to some shady business behind the scenes. For example, if an employee is pressured to make something happen or, you know, they might lose their career for it, then they might be incentivized to tell half-truths or lie about small details to get certain things to happen that would normally not happen. Anyways, Press. now we get to, in my Press. opinion, one of the most concerning parts of the entire that would know where Jake says that the Mr. Beast team has been working with a convicted SA offender. Well, there was a known <laughs> offender, registered offender, convicted offender on the registry and everything who worked there. From what I hear, I, I can't confirm or deny, from what I hear, he's on the registry for doing some not great stuff to some underage people. And they knew that. And he's running at a channel that has underage people on and around and is targeted to underage people. And they covered up the fact that not only did he work there, but he was like the manager when it all started. Wow, that is absolutely horrific if that is true. Um, getting those vibes of, I don't know, Dan Schneider, Nickelodeon, all of that weird stuff. I mean, how did this possibly ever happen? Nobody who has done that type of stuff to a child should ever, ever, ever be allowed anywhere near kids or to even work on a channel that has so many kid viewers. It is just completely unacceptable. Again, I'm praying Mr. Beast did not- Uh, did, did he, yeah, did he know though? Not know about this, but still, it is bad because it is his responsibility to monitor who is being employed under him. Yeah, I, again, I would say the same thing. I don't like uh, to accuse other people of somebody else's action. Like, I don't like it. Um, but in this situation, this is a bigger situation. And of course, Mr. Beast has a team, and uh, Mr. Beast is like, let's be real, biggest YouTuber out there. Uh, he's m now more than just a YouTuber, so he has team, he got legal team as well, he got lawyers, right? This is why those jokes hit different whenever you hear $1 lawyer versus $1 million lawyer, right? right? So he should have known better, known better and shouldn't have hired an essay. Uh, SA, like that, that's crazy, man. And at his company. Now, it gets really bad when we allegedly have video footage of the guy in a Mr. Beast video. Okay, yeah, this is important uh, as well. Yeah, I do not support any harassment towards, yeah, it gets no harassment towards anybody for sure, man. Like, of course. He'll be in videos. He'll be, be on YouTube, man. He's, he'll be around. And whenever he, he, he is, he's wearing a mask. Why would you wear a mask? Why would you conceal your face? It's like, you, what, what are you concealing? That you are in registered offender? And that your face could be looked up on a thing? How much more can you literally cover up a defender? So why, why, why do you call him Delaware? I, I didn't know. Apparently they called him Delaware because he's not allowed to go back to Delaware. I mean, what is going on? Why is a guy like that just randomly in your videos with a mask on? I mean, allegedly they call this guy Delaware because he's banned from Delaware for his disgusting crimes. I mean, that's insane. Why are people joking about that? Oh man, this was Chris uh, Tyson. Chris Tyson before he uh, became an attack chopper, right? <laughs> Damn, that's crazy, bro. Like... No, brother is not even a brother no more. He switched sides like he was in Call of Duty, right? Like, damn, homie, it's a sister now, right? I mean, I, I'm hoping there's some other story to that nickname because that sounds really bad. And it actually gets a million times worse because a very concerning clip of Mr. Beast allegedly referring to this man by his disturbing nickname, Delaware, is in a video. Credit to uh, Upper Echelon for his video here. During the I spent 24 hours straight in Insane Asylum video in which Mr. Beast did not spend 24 hours in any such thing himself, Zoro is a main contestant. However, at 9 minutes and 12 seconds, Mr. Beast himself states, don't touch Delaware's cracker during one of the joking meals that they were given. He's after my guy. Don't touch Delaware's cracker. Don't touch Delaware's cracker. That simple innocuous slip presents a very big problem. If Jake Weddle's testimony is accurate, which I believe it is, having compared the height of Delaware, or Zorro, to that of Chandler, as well as eye color, hair color, weight, facial features, etc., it all checks out. If Jake Weddle's testimony is accurate, it means... Don't touch Delaware's cracker. Oh, man. That not only was there a convicted offender working at Mr. Beast, convicted of explicit acts with a victim under the age of 11, by the way, but his nickname was the state in which those crimes occurred, which Mr. Beast himself openly used. I mean, if this is all true, this is some really sick stuff. Why are they joking about that name if that is the story behind it? Why is that yeah. man allowed on set when he has a criminal record for one of the most heinous crimes? I mean, in my opinion, if you're going after minors, that is just absolute bottom of the barrel, absolutely horrid stuff. And this has got to be by far the worst allegation yet. I can't believe it's gotten worse than the illegal lotteries and everything. Uh, th yeah, this is this was the one that I was referring to earlier on, like uh, illegal signing. It's not Mr. Beast that was signing. It's like his team signing, right? Uh, and, and like legal giveaway, scam giveaway stuff, right? Yeah, so that, that stuff now doesn't even sound too bad. 
of course it's bad but in comparison to this it's like nothing uh, and youtube is not yeah this can be a problem for youtube it shouldn't be but the reason i'm saying it could be is because of what happened all the years back with pewdiepie right when pewdiepie said the n-word you know that bridge situation right exactly so after that youtube had that uh adpocalypse right adpocalypse where everybody that was making videos at the time their income was affected too so they wouldn't get for example if they were getting let's just say to make it simple if they were getting a hundred dollars hey uh, when adpocalypse happened it basically halved and at times it got even worse so like they would get 50 let's just say to to make it like easier to understand right so that happened and after that youtube implemented the entire demonetization the yellow signs right and all that crap and they stricter uh, strict the rules up now the rules are of course strict as they were after that happened with pewdiepie saying the n-word but youtube has gotten way better at like demonetizing or monetizing videos and youtube has gotten better and better and they have also tried to loosen up a little bit so you, you see like now that this is happening this does not look good because this is uh, gonna go mainstream this all of this news is gonna go mainstream and apparently he says that part three is gonna be even more wild than it, it currently is so all of this aside like the chris tyson uh, chris tyson drama side him being like a pedophile uh, and all that there's evidence off for it that's why everybody's calling him that yeah that stuff aside illegal giveaways fake giveaways uh, i don't think they were fake giveaways but it was uh the way they were doing giveaways it was illegal they were basically trying to make sure that you would donate and then they would give away stuff right hey donate first and then we will give away so and, and fake signs uh mis not being mr b signs all that crap now the essay stuff uh, the fake videos as well which is of course uh, that's drama on the internet understandable but now we're getting into into the territory of uh, illegal stuff as well so th this is crazy and i don't know if he's gonna respond you guys think he's gonna respond i don't think he's gonna respond maybe perhaps he is gonna respond once it's really at a point of hey he don't see any more like uh, for for example, because right now there's still a lot of people. I would say majority of his audience is kids, right? So once this really gets to those kids' parents, and once the parents find out about, it, and if his viewership goes down, which I don't think it would go down, just like how Ludwig said, right? Like 100 million, 200 million views a video, easy. I'm not sure how many views he does uh, per month, but last time I checked, he was doing like a billion or two billion with a B oh, shit. per month. That's crazy, man. That's uh, that's crazy numbers. So once this news reaches uh to the masses like for example to the parents of the kids and if he loses viewership if youtube hits him up behind the scenes then maybe he's gonna respond or or if the situation gets even worse than it currently is maybe then he's gonna respond or maybe he's just gonna weather the storm uh currently feels like that he's uh, trying to weather the storm though else allegedly they're trying to expunge his record too to cover it up also apparently before this phone conversation got recorded the person on the other end of the line said that the mr beast team was actually trying to expunge delaware's record uh off the registry everyone at your company knows but somehow you don't know um i, I think that needs more of an explanation than just saying i didn't know well how didn't you know how, how did this person get into the company and, and you know a company that makes content for children and, and is around children so yeah jimmy i think we need an explanation from you yeah like if for example right like that, that's why i say i don't like when people accuse a man for another man's action in this case like i don't want to accuse miss jimmy uh right but the reason people are upset here is because M jimmy is not just a random youtuber right he's he has a company though so they would i guess do background check right and, and the fact that they had a joke like hey delaware uh, don't touch delaware firecracker and all that right so it goes to show you that they knew so that makes it even worse that makes it even worse and this entire drama man it is crazy bro this week has been insane y'all uh and apparently part three is gonna be happening soon so hey i guess let's wait for that check out this video on the screen this is that mr t lexify drama that i was talking about he actually beat the allegations bro he made a massive comeback. I'm happy for this gentleman out here. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left because now Dr. Disrespect is hyping up his comeback. Is he also going to have redemption like Mr. T likes to fight? Check out this video on the screen and I'll see you right there.